I want to emphasize width. Make sure that right arm is at a right angle. You're pushing your right hand further away from your right shoulder. Make sure your left shoulder goes down and across so that you don't push your head to the right. The reason your head moves to the right is your shoulders turn too flat. They need to turn on a more of an inclined plane. Slightly more tilt. Okay. But make sure you push your hands further out. I want to maximize your arc width. Okay. So think of a, a clock. Got it. You want to have your hands out further away from you. That'll give you more power. So you're moving off. Yeah, you got that little slide right there. Not a lot of movement. See, everything starts from the top. You can see how your hands accelerate. Your hips don't accelerate. So, yeah, I mean, you've always had that. That's no, that's no um, revelation. But you're still working on disassociation. That's the goal create some disassociation you don't have to have super lag I mean you still hit the ball far do you have this kind of lag no he gets wide on the takeaway now early move see the early move see that's what you lack you gotta have that early move I want to give you that drill I mean first of all I like to drill the uh, what's that movie uh, Happy Gilmore I want you to do some Happy Gilmore swings where you stand behind the ball and you walk in and you swing. Pat Podrick Harrington does those. And what that does is you'll get this early move from the hip. There's the early move. Watch Jason Dubner. The arms are still going back. There's the early move. So, yeah, I mean, could we, we're still constantly trying to create this separation between upper and lower that's not there. The first move is always with the hands for you right there. Mm -hmm. So you gotta, you gotta, we gotta change that motor pattern. So a couple drills, you know, you're still working on trying to move one segment independent of the other with tubing. You know, you want to do the Happy Gilmore swings. I'll show you how that's done. You want to work on separating by putting your hands at shoulder height and then working the hips before the hands. You just gotta keep doing that until you can get some lag because you don't have any lag. And here it is. We want to sustain angles. I want a right angle. That's about a right angle right, right about there. So that's asking a lot, but anyway. So staying over the ball, make the left shoulder go down a little more, push the hands out. We're not worried too much about starting the downswing with your upper, lower body because you got to practice the exercises that Jason gave you and Dimitri or whatever. The net effect of this is we want less side to side shift, less up and down movement. and you'll be more consistent ball striker. You're not moving much though. I gotta tell you, that's pretty darn good. You slide in front of it. Watch your nose. Your nose is behind that line. Unfortunately, when you hit the golf ball, you slide in front of it. Right there. You try to save it. You get in front of it, now you're gonna back up. You try to save it, but it's too late. So yeah, the shift of the upper body, starting the downswing with the hands too early, that contributes to some power loss, but does it contribute to uh, directional? If you get a little too much bending of the wrists, you know, yeah, you could lose power, but you're not going to lose direction if you can unhinge your wrists early and still square the face. You're not losing direction. Your left elbow bends a little bit. You know, that's because you early release it. If you held the angle longer, you wouldn't bend the left elbow. The takeaway, bending the arms way too early. The right arm, watch Jason Duffner. His right arm will not bend on takeaway. Arms are completely straight on takeaway. For every action, there's an equal opposite reaction. Newton's second law of motion. If you go wide, you're likely to go 
more yeah, right. over that last time. Yep. Through that, through that. Yeah, so you got to maintain this position you establish at setup. Don't bend the right arm so quickly. The left arm, his left arm is so straight. Yours bends a little bit, not bad. 